Glossier's website is beautiful, it's stunning, and in this video I'm going to show you how to recreate from blank screen scratch their iconic landing page in under 30 minutes with our own tweaks and changes. We're going to use WordPress and Elementor and some basic knowledge is required because this is a step-by-step follow-along tutorial where I show you how to create every single section of the website. So let's jump in and start creating our product. First thing we're going to do is to add our categories. This is going to be very key when it comes to our menu styling. So let's start to add our categories. So we've got best sellers, face, body, farms, great, grants. Fantastic, it's as simple as that. The name of your category and press enter. All right, wonderful. Now let's add the product. I want you to click on add new. Where it says product name, I want you to type in your product name. So I'm going to name this calm balm and over here in the product description you want to give your product a description so you could write perfect for everyday use for all skin types this balm not only soothes but also hydrates for the full day of action Okay, something like that. You can always change this at the end. Then we're going to put in our price over here. So I'm going to put this as $24 and it is a simple product. So there's no variations to this. And on the right hand side, I am going to put it in the balms category. And we're just going to click on product image. Let's search for our balms. And you're just going to click on publish. Fantastic. So we've just added our first product. It was that easy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a round eight to ten products and fill up the other categories all right so now that our products are there and created what we're going to do is we're going to head over to menu and create a menu so I want you to go down to appearance and click on menus and we're just going to create a new menu so you can click on create new menu and I'm going to call this main menu and press enter fantastic and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put in the categories over here the first one I want to put in is best sellers. And if you don't know the URL, really simply go back to products, right click on categories, open that up in a new tab, and then you can right click on view and copy the link address. So I'll right click on view for best sellers, copy the link address, and then head back over to categories and paste that in. All right, so we can continue to do this for all of the categories that we want to create. Now, once you're happy with this menu, just click save menu. To create the page, we're going to head over to pages and click on add new. As this is the home page, I am going to call it by its name, Skin Depot, and click on publish. Then what we're going to do is we're going to click edit with Elementor. Fantastic. Now the Elementor page builder is a complete blank canvas. And if yours doesn't look like this, you can head over to settings. That's the gear icon on the lower left-hand side of the screen. And you can toggle high title, and if you want your layout to be completely clear, you can change the page layout to Elementor Canvas. Brilliant. Now, there's a couple of things that we're going to do first of all. So we're going to click that hamburger icon over here and we're going to head over to site settings. Brilliant. Now, we are going to change the typography just to make everything easier as we flow. So we don't have to keep on changing our text, our colors, etc. I'm going to change the H1 color to black. So that means our main title color is always going to be black. And I'm going to change the typography. I'm going to change the font family to any one I want. So I'm going to change this one to Bibas New. I'll change the size to around 32. And my H2 text, I'm going to make that a little bit gray. And I'm going to change the typography to one of my custom fonts. I like to call it Harry Styles. <laughs> and I'm going to give it a font size of 22. Once you're happy with your changes, I just want you to go ahead and click update. All right, the next change I'm going to make is to the button. So let's press this back arrow and let's head over to buttons. And first and foremost, I want my buttons all to be black. So I'm changing the background type to black and I'm changing the text color to white. I'm also going to change the typography. I'm going to change the font family to B Vietnam Pro. 
and you can change this to whatever you want. I'm also going to be changing the border radius. I'm going to give it a radius of nothing. So I'm going to put in zero. Radius is the curve around the border. Then I'm going to click over to hover. And what this means is that when you hover over the button, it's going to change color. So if you don't want it to change, then leave it, but I do. So I want it to invert. So I'm going to make the text color black on hover and the background color white on hover. And I'm going to make border radius zero as I did before. Okay, once you're happy with your button styling, just click update. Now you can style anything that you want over here. This is our global styling, so it's just going to make our life a lot easier once we start creating this page. All right, once you're happy with that, just click exit. All right, guys, let's get started. So we're going to click on this plus sign. We're going to select one single section. We're going to drag in an inner section and we're going to delete one of the columns. Duplicate them three times. So let's start. And let's stack. So we've got stack, stack, and stack. Fantastic. Now let's make this full width. So let's click on edit section and let's change the content width to full width. And as you can see now we've got full width. Then let's change all of our inner sections to full width as well. So let's change the width from box to full width. And as you can see, they're all starting to change. So this one up here, I'm going to make it a sliding notification bar. So I'm going to search slider and I'm going to drag in slides. We're going to head down to height and we're just going to bring that in. All right, so it's at 100 now and it stops at 100. So let's go ahead and change that to about 20 and 20 is really what we want. Obviously the text is really big, so we're going to head over to style and go back down to title, click on typography and let's try 12. Right, that's a little bit small, so let's make it 14. Right, that looks good to me. Now, we want this to be edge to edge, so on our main section, we're just going to click on Edit Column, head over to Advanced, and put the padding as zero. Fantastic. Then we're going back to that inner section, and let's do the same thing, head over to Padding, and press zero. And as you can see now, it is edge to edge. Let's go back to our slide and add another one. So let's click on content and I'm just going to duplicate that and we're going to change the text of the content to uh, free shipping for all orders over let's say 100. And what we're going to do is just to change this background color. So I'm just going to slide it down to a complementary color which is going to be this kind of rouge color. Ah, as you can see, it just did its thing. What I'm going to do is to click on slider options and I'm going to change the navigation to none. So I don't want any arrows. I don't want any dots. And we're going to leave it as autoplay. And also I'm going to change the content animation to slide from the right. Great, that looks great. Okay, we can also add one more. Great things come in threes. So let's head over to content and let's say, um, we're here to help chat to us now. Okay, and we're going to change this background type to another complementary color. We're going to go for a nice orange. Fabulous. Okay, this looks great. I'm pretty happy with that. If you wanted to, you can change the color of your text. So what you can do is head over to title and, you know, if you felt like that white wasn't really visible, then we can just change the text to black. Once we're happy, we're going to click update. And that is our notification bar. All right, guys, so next up in our header, we're going to add our logo. So we're going to click back into the widgets and drag in our image in the middle. And then we're going to click on choose image. And we're going to choose our logo, which is over here. It's the Skin Depot. And I'm going to make that full. And we're going to go to style and you can just make it the size that you want. So I'm just going to change around with the width, maybe leave it like this. And that's it for that section. Now let's head back over to our widgets. We're going to look for menu and we're going to drag in that navigation menu. Perfect. And where it says menu here, we're just going to look for the menu that we created. In our case, that was main menu. There it is. There's our best sellers, body, face, balms, fragrance, and oil. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the center and I'm also going to remove the pointer. So the pointer is basically an underlined pointer. I don't want any animations on here. And I'm also going to change the mobile 
breakpoint to none. So that just basically means that this is going to appear the same on mobile too. Okay, let's head over to style and I'm going to put the text color as black and I'm also going to change the typography weight to 400 and I'm going to change the typography size to 14 or 15 <laughs> and I'm pretty happy with that. Now let's just see what happens when we hover. When we hover it goes completely white so let's just click on hover over here and change the hover text color to, let's bring up the opacity and let's change that to grey. Perfect, looking good to me. All right, now the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this section. I'm going to edit the whole section. I'm going to head over to style and head down to border. Click on this pencil icon to give it a border shadow. Okay, then I'm going to head over to advanced. We're going to go down to motion effects and we're going to click sticky and we're going to make it sticky on the top. So this just means that this is going to stick onto the top of our page as users scroll down. And we're going to hide it on mobile because it will take up too much space. Once you're happy with that, just click update. All right, so for our main section, we're going to click on this plus sign and we're going to click on the section with two columns. Fantastic, we're going to change the content width to full width. Then what we're going to do is we're going to change the structure to 66, 33. We may change this afterwards, but let's just keep it as that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in our heading text. So we're going to drag it in and put it on the right hand side of the column. And then we're going to give it our title. Over here, I want it to say all you need to look flawlessly you. And we're making that H1 heading. And I'm also going to change the typography. I'm going to change the letter spacing. Oh, we've got it over here. So the letter spacing is at two. I might even make that a little bit bigger. Ooh, <laughs> that looks great. Okay, then we're going to just drag in a simple text from the text editor, natural skincare that makes you feel good while looking good. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to bring up the typography of this. Okay, to about, I think 22 is good. Then I'm just going to drag in a button. So that's a call to action button which is of course going to say shop now. On the left hand side, we're going to simply add in a slider. So let's type in slider. We can choose image carousel. I'm going to add in my images, maybe like this one, this image, this image, and perhaps this one as well. And let's create a new gallery. And you can rearrange the images as you like and click on insert gallery. Okay, what we're going to do is change the image size to full size. And, ah, oh, that looks great already. And I'm going to make two show. Brilliant. Ah, oh, this looks really pretty already. And I'm going to change the navigation to none. <laughs> so people have no choice. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. We're also going to toggle on lazy load. It just helps us with our site optimization. And we're going to create a bit of a gap between these images as well. So if you go to spacing, click on custom. And there we have some image spacing. I think this looks great. Okay, guys, if you did want to give people the option to toggle with those arrows, then you can just head over to navigation and you can click dots. And as you can see, there's some dots down here. Or you can click arrows. As you can see, some arrows appear there as well. Okay. Or you can click arrows and dots. And there's some arrows and there's some dots. Okay, so what we want to do is we just want to style this properly. I really like this. I really, really like the way it looks already. So what we want to do is complete the look by heading over to this edit column button over here. So we're editing this column and we're going to vertically align everything in the middle. Okay, so that's the start of it. I think that this carousel is a little bit big. So what I'm going to do is head over to custom and change the height. Okay, so let's try a height of 600 and apply it. Let's make that a little bit bigger. So let's try a height of 800 and click apply. Okay, this is not too bad. Then head back over to style and we're going to go down to image and we're going to change our spacing. So we want to just put that as default. There's a couple of things that we could do style wise. Uh, we could, of course, make this text bigger. I'm seeing a huge trend at the moment with massive font size. So we can make this as big as possible. Or we can take in 
the column size. So we can take this in ever so slightly just to be over here. Let's perhaps make this around 60. And I'm going to make sure that this is at 40. Oops. Fabulous. Then what we're going to do as well, guys, is we're going to add in a bit of padding. So let's click on edit section at the top, head over to advanced, and I want to add about, let's try 100 and see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks pretty good, but what I'm going to do is remove some from the top. So I'm going to unlink the values and I'm going to make the top padding about 50 and mirror that on the bottom as well. Now this looks great. This looks really good. Okay, what we're going to do, last thing, is change the Shop Now button. Let's make this a little bit bolder, a little bit bigger, so we can head over to Content and click over here where it says Justified. And let's make the size large, head over to Style. And we're going to click on Typography. And we're going to click on Font Weight as Bold. And we're also going to take up the font size ever so slightly. And if you want, we can transform the text to uppercase. Bang, shop now. Once you're happy with that, click update. Let's add our best sellers. So let's click on this plus sign and we're going to add one section. Then what we're going to do is we're going to drag in a heading and we're going to put this in the center and we're going to type in shop our best sellers. Fantastic. Then we're going to head over to style and we're going to change this as we like. So we can make this a little bit bigger. And we can also change the font size if we wanted to. You can style this as you like. Okay, we're going to search product carousel and drag in our product carousel, wait for it. And there we have all of our products. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to disable autoplay, disable infinite loop, and we're going to head over to query. We're going to include by terms and our terms are going to be best seller. So our best-selling items are going to appear over there. And now you understand the savviness about creating product categories. Okay, fantastic. Now let's style this just a little bit. So let's make these central. So let's head back over to layout. Let's click on content alignment and put that as center. And really, I'm happy with this. I think this looks great. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and change this purple color. So I'm just going to click on style and head over to navigation arrow and change it to white and I'm going to go to hover change the background color and we're going to give it a little bit of a pink so let's see what that looks like yeah that looks good what we're also going to do is we're going to make the body radius 50 at all times just to make sure that it's always circle now I am very very happy with this so this is going to slide from left to right Oh, fantastic. All right, so I'm just going to head over to Add to Cart and I'm going to actually capitalize this text. So I'm going to click on Typography and click on Transform and click on Uppercase. Yes, and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller to 14. Perfect. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to take away the border radius, make it zero. And this is the border radius of the Add to Cart button. Okay, I'm very happy with this. I'm going to click Update. Now let's add a banner. So let's click on the plus icon and we're going to click on the section with two columns. Okay, so we're going to add the banner text over here. So let's punch that in over there. Then I'm just going to drag in a text box from the text editor. And I'm going to drag in a button as well. So I'm just stacking at the moment. And I'm going to call this Shop Now. Okay, now let's change the styling. So let's click on the title that we dragged in and let's give it an H1 title. So that already makes it bigger. Then what I'm going to do is to head over to Typography and hmm, I'm going to make it even bigger actually. That's big enough for me. Okie dokie, now I'm just going to leave this text here. You can change it to whatever you want. I'm going to populate that later. I'm going to change this button size to large and I'm going to head it over to style and I am going to change the typography to uppercase 
I'm going to change the weight to bold. Okay, very happy with that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in an image over here. So I'm going to head over to the image widget and just drag it in. Okay, and let's just click on choose image. And let's choose our image. I'm going to choose this image. Okay, real people. And we're just going to click on the edit section over here. We're going to head over to vertically align and click on middle. Now this is vertically aligned. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to give this a background. So I'm going to head over to style, head over to background type, and you can choose your background color. You can choose this as whatever we want. What we could also do is we could create a gradient. So if you click on gradient, we could create a nice gradient. So what I like to do with the gradients is match them. So I'll copy the first gradient color, paste the second gradient color, and just match it something similar like this. Ah, oh, this looks really cool. <laughs> what we could also do is to give this column some background as well. So if you just click on edit column, I click on style, click on background type, and let's just click on white, for example. And as you can see, it's got a background color. If we head over to advanced, if we want to kind of bring that in a little bit, we can click on margin and let's say we click on 100 and it goes in. It looks kind of cool like that. What we'll have to do as well is to give it some padding because it's looking like the text is as edge to edge with the box. So I'll give it a padding of about 75 and then that goes in. Okay. And then you just want to make your tweaks and changes while you're here. Okay, so I might make this text a little bit smaller. Bang. And this text a bit smaller as well. So I'm going to go to style and make it a text of 12. Maybe too small, 14. And I'm going to make that shop now button justified. So let's head over to content. And bang, click justified. Okay, this looks great. We're just going to remove the padding from the edges and make it edge to edge. Cool. Once you're happy with that, just click update. Okay. Right here, my screen wasn't recording, but you get the gist of what I did. I dragged in the title text and I dragged in the text box and a button. All right, let's resume. And then we're going to style our button, click on typography, make that bold and I'm going to transform it to uppercase. Okay, that's that section done. First off, we're going to click on edit the whole section and we're going to make that full width. Then we're going to click on edit our inner section. We're also going to make this full width and we're going to head over to advanced and unlink the values and we're going to give the padding on the right 100 and the padding on the left 100, just like we did with our top banner. Then what I'm going to do is to change the layout. So I'm going to click on layout, go to structure, and I'm going to change this to 3366. We can always make our tweaks and changes afterwards. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start populating it. So we're going to head back up, copy this, and head down, and we're going to paste it. Fantastic. Now all we need to do over here is we're going to change our query. So we're going to head over to query, delete bestsellers, and let's put in a body. Great. Now let's just duplicate that. And let's put this as face. So again, guys, this is the importance of creating categories before you start to create the page. Fabulous. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to click on this edit column over here. We're going to head over to style and we're going to give it a background image. And you can just go ahead and choose your image. And we can change the size to make it contain. As you can see, it's repeating. So we're going to change the size to make it the cover and we can centrally align her to the middle if we wanted to. Fabulous. Now what we're going to do is just to click on this edit column and we're going to remove the padding. 
and any margin okay and we're going to do that again here so we're just going to remove any padding or any margin and we're going to click on this icon here and also remove any padding or any margin okay so i think that looks great okay guys so once you're happy with this you can just go ahead and click update all right we're going to showcase our epics so let's click on the section with three columns and quite simply we're going to head over to icon so just type in icon and we're going to drag in an icon box fantastic and we're going to call this 100% vegan and then we're going to delete this image and we're going to choose the image that we want I've already got my vegan icon and what I'm going to do is head over to style and head over to content and change the typography of the title. I'm going to change the style to italic. Great. And I'm going to change the font to 14 of the description. All right. Once you're happy, you can just go ahead and copy and you can right click and paste it in the middle section. Over here, I'm going to write cruelty free and then I'm going to create that, upload, put my rabbit in there. Okay. And then you're going to copy this and paste this in there. And I'm going to call this ethically made and change it to the letter. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to style this. So we're going to head over to style and change the background color. Um, I'm going to give it a light gray, light pinky gray, and maybe give it the blue and head over to advanced and then we're going to give it a padding of 150 maybe that's too big so and head over to advanced and we're going to give it a padding of 100 okay great what we're going to do as well is we're going to add a border over there so click on style head down to border and we're going to give it a border of one we're going to unlink the width values and we're going to put a width of one on the right and i'm going to make this white it may not be that visible yeah, let's make it two okay and let's copy this style and paste this style as you can see there's two borders it's very faint it's nice okay that's it once you're happy with this just click update okay we're going to add a video it's important to show people exactly kind of what we do what we're made of so we're going to drag in a section with one column and then we're going to simply head over to video so we're going to type in video then we're going to drag in a heading title and we're going to call this you have to see this and we're going to put this in the center and we're going to head over to style and make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to make that 60. Ah, a little bit too big. I'm going to make that 50. And then I'm going to head over to my video widget and drag in a video. Okay, fantastic. So we don't have a video there at the moment. So let's add an image overlay. And that's just going to be the cover image. Let's choose the cover image. So let's just say she was demonstrating something and people can simply press play now what we're going to do is we're going to click on edit section and we're going to head over to style and we're going to give it a background image and what i like to do is give it a background image of actually the same image that we see over there so the way we do this is just by simply choosing an image and choosing the same image and then what we're going to do is to click on no repeat and we're going to make it cover Okay, and we're going to put the position as center center. Great. Now what we're going to do is head over to advance and give it a padding of 100. And what we're going to do, head back over to style. Now we can see what this looks like. We're going to go to background overlay and we're going to give it a background overlay color of white. And we're going to toggle around with the opacity so we can make it brighter, make it look like this, or we can make it a lot darker. So I want to make it brighter. Okay, fantastic, this is great. Once you're happy with this, just click update. All right, we're going to add a subscribe button. So we're going to click on plus and we're going to click on this first section and we're going to head over to Elementor and we're going to type in form. Then we're going to drag in a form. 
Okay, we're going to delete name, delete message, and we're going to keep email. We're going to remove the label. And as you can see, that has changed over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to head over to button and we're going to change it, join the club, join the club, fabulous. Then what we're going to do is we're going to click on edit section over here and we're going to head over to advanced and we're going to make the padding of 100, maybe 150. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on this column over here and we're going to head over to advanced and make the padding of 100. Okay. We're going to go to style. Remember, we're still clicked on this column and we're going to change the background type to white. And we're going to click on our main section. We're going to go to style and this is completely up to you. We're going to change the background type to an image. So let's say it's this image. And we can put that position as in the center. And then what we can do is we can click on this column over here and we can click on color and just bring down the opacity that we can see here. And of course, we're going to head over to text heading and put a heading here. Saying subscribe to receive 50% off your entire next order. Okay, then we're going to put that in the center and we're going to head over to style and you can style that up as you like. So I'm going to put that as 50, 40. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in some more text from the text editor. That's just going to be our subtext and we're going to style this and put that in the center. Okay, so if you're happy, you can leave it as this. And guys, you can also add a video as well. So if you just head over to video over here, and make sure you have your video link. So that could be self-hosted or that could be a YouTube video. And you could just paste in the video. And for example, it could be that. And then we could give it a background fallback of that image. So just in case it doesn't load on mobile for whatever reason or any other device, it falls back to the image. So it will always have something over there. Okay, fantastic. Click update. All right, guys, let's create our first alert. So let's click on the plus icon. Then let's click on this section with two columns. Then let's head over to dragging in a few intersections. So we're going to drag in one, and then we're going to duplicate this twice. We're going to duplicate another one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to delete the right-hand side column. Then I'm going to delete the first right-hand side column of the first intersection. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in an image on the left-hand side column of the first intersection and I am going to find our logo. Next up, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag in an accordion. So this is a new type of footer that I'm seeing a lot these days within the e-commerce space. Just kind of put in really important things visibly on the home page. I'm going to call this About Us. And then the next one, I'm going to chip in and Shipping and delivery, it's just things that people will want to know. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to edit this intersection and we're going to vertically align it to the middle. And also what we're going to do is head over back to our accordion. We're going to go to style and we're going to press zero as border width. We do not want any border whatsoever. Okay, brilliant, that's our first bit. And then this section I'm going to put in our terms and conditions. So let's just drag in some text and let's put in skin depot. All rights. All rights reserved. And then we're going to put in our terms and conditions. I already have a terms and conditions menu. So you can just go ahead and create some pages and then create a menu just like we did with our header menu. I'm just going to take changes typography and I'm going to change it to this typography and I'm going to make the font size tiny. And I'm also going to change this typography of Skin Depot and I'm going to mirror what I have over there. 
my font is called Harry Styles because I was creating the Harry Styles website. I really, really like the font. Okay, then we're going to just make sure that we're happy with this. I'm going to remove the pointer. So just click on content and just click pointer as none and no breakpoint either. And we're going to add no padding. Okay, we're happy with that. Then on the right hand side of the column, we're going to put in some social icons. If you just type in social, great. Now what we're going to do is head over to style and put it as a custom color. And we're going to change our primary color, take down the opacity to nothing. And we're going to put our secondary color as black. And we're going to click on edit this inner section and we're going to vertically align everything to the center. Okay, and I'm going to change these social icons and make them gray. Some tweaks and changes, I'm going to align this with the logo. So what I'm going to do is just head over to advanced and I'm going to unlink the values and I'm going to give some padding on the left of about 50, uh, maybe 60. And I'm going to do the same here. So I'm going to click on this pencil icon and then unlink the values and give it a padding on the left of 60. Perfect. And I'm going to do the same here with the social media icons. I'm just going to click on this and just align it. So also what we can do is we can change the styling. So we can change this to, for example, this greenish color that the logo has. And this is just kind of adding fun little kick on things. There we go. <laughs> yeah, cool. And let's change the styling of this as well. So let's change the accordion title color. Let's give it the kind of same color. Uh, let's grab, let's give it this pinkish color. Uh, you should be a little bit more accurate than what I'm doing. <laughs> Brilliant. And then I'm going to also change the icon color to that creamy bluey color. All right, fantastic. Okay, so here we have it. We've got our website done. Now what I'm going to do is just run through it and just make little tweaks and changes and we're good to go. It's good to go. <laughs> we've created our header section over here where we have the notifications, we've got our logo, then we've got a menu. Then we created our banner, which looks incredible with the carousel over here. And then our next section is to shop our best sellers. And this is also a carousel. Then we created our banner. And then more of our range. This is our body category and this is our face category. And then we've got an image over there. Then we've got our ethics and a video and a subscribe box. And last but not least, our footer at the bottom. Fantastic. So I'm really happy with this. I love this bold style, sort of in your face. It's what we like at the moment. I love the carousel. I just love it. I really love it. It looks high end and look how simple that was to make. It's very, very clean as well, which is really important, especially when it comes to skincare or any kind of beauty range. You want it to be as clean as possible. It's going on people's faces. It's going in people's hair. You know, it has to represent safety and it has to look clean. Your website must look flawless. Thank you guys so much for watching. Congratulations for you for getting this far. Now you've got your Glossier type website going on. It's a beautiful stunning landing page. Just remember to make your own relevant tweaks and changes. We don't want to be like blatantly copying, <laughs> drawing some inspo. All right, guys. Remember that this video is for educational purposes only. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. It's at Cell Cell. And feel free to comment with what you want to see next. Thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video.